While District Attorney Ashley Rich provided disturbing details of the crime today, she was tight-lipped about the investigation itself. But this afternoon, a man who was at the center of the investigation when Hawaii went missing opened up to News 5 about the road they had to take in finding Hawaii's murderer. Pritchard's former police chief told our own Ashley Knight Hawatha Robinson was a suspect in this case from the very beginning. Three weeks into the job, but Mike Rowland worked as hard as anyone as police chief in Pritchard trying to find the killer of little Hawaii Robinson. We literally put in hundreds and hundreds of hours. We were putting in relatively over a million dollars a day. In cases like these, the suspect usually is a family member. All efforts then went into proving it was no one but Huatha. All in all, we took over 200 DNA samples. We took DNA samples from every sex offender within a uh, three-mile radius of, the, uh, of Hawaii's home. Uh, we took every relative that we could get our hands on, every person that we talked to, friends in the neighborhood. Just 13 weeks for over 200 DNA samples to process is nothing short of a miracle. An undertaking that massive normally takes 18 months to two years. Early on, police told us preliminary results showed no sexual assault. However, official results came back within the week, but police couldn't share new information for fear of tipping off the suspect. Later on, after the uh, autopsy was done and, and more forensic testing was done, it became clear that there was uh, a sexual assault. And uh, so we kind of kept that to ourselves because that's part of the investigative process. And, and uh, clearly only the... Uh, police and the perpetrator would know that. Now, an early Christmas present, Roland says it's a tremendous relief knowing this perpetrator is off the streets. Uh, we're happy that that person's off the street. We know that the citizens in the city of Pritchard can rest better tonight because they know that this person is in jail and their community is safer. Ashley Knight, News 5.